best quarterback in football, if you look at like the last five or six years and said rank all the quarterbacks over that time, it's Russell Wilson. And I know there's a strong sense that the man deserves an MVP. First half, sort of, MVP of the 2020 season. If we were casting that ballot today, which player would you pick? I'd pick Russell Wilson. Uh Marcus Spears first up. Swaggo, who's the MVP of the league in your opinion right now? It's Russell Wilson. Sure. Got to be Russell Wilson uh, for, for MVP right now. The year that Russell Wilson finally wins MVP. Nope. He ain't going to win it. How many times have we heard this line over the last five to six years? Russell Wilson is the current front runner in the MVP race. Russell Wilson is the best quarterback in the NFL. Russell Wilson has been the best quarterback for the past five years in the NFL. And with this happening consistently every season, you would think that in individual accolades, there would be something to show for it. But as of right now, you and me combined have the same amount of MVP votes as Russell Wilson, a big fat goose egg. But why is it that Russell currently has zero MVP votes and with the last coming years being losing to the MVP race to Lamar Jackson and to Patrick Mahomes, what can he do specifically this year to stay ahead in the game like how he started this year already but is now starting to fall behind players like the likes of Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes again, even Kyler Murray and some people would argue Josh Allen out in Buffalo are all ahead of him in the MVP race right now. As amazing as seeing Wilson scramble in and out of the pocket, dodging tackles and making these incredible throws to his wide receivers, Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf, in order to be in a position to win MVP, you need the protection from an offensive line, which for as far as the Seahawks are concerned, have not been the best for them over the course of the last few years, to put it lightly. Wilson, Wilson always seemingly puts on a show right at the beginning of the year, which like in that one clip you saw in the beginning, a halfway MVP. If the MVP and the NFL regular season was only 10 weeks long, Russell Wilson would probably have seven MVPs from now, but that's not the case. And as it's been over the last couple of weeks, as we slowly get later and later into the season, you start to notice kind of the wear and tear, I guess you could say, of an NFL season, and you see the stats and the numbers slowly start to decline a little bit more and more for Russell Wilson as a turnover to interception ratio, yards, and pretty much most quarterback starts slowly start to decline for him. I mean, in the first two games alone, Russell Wilson put up a combined 600 yards passing, nine touchdowns to one interception ratio in only two games, obviously being against the Patriots and the Atlanta Falcons. And over the course of his last three games, those of which coming against Atlanta, the Rams, and the Bills, has a completed turnover to interception ratio of four to four. So as the season has progressed, he came from a one to nine plus and fell all the way down to a one to one ratio. And when everybody was claiming that he was this MVP talent, which again happens every single year when do you think it all came came right at the beginning right when the Seahawks start to hit a hot flash and then they immediately always start to decline and so do Russell Wilson's numbers over the last couple of years even when we look at the 2019 season immediately after their bye week the Eagles next three games after that point were against Philly Minnesota and the Rams where Wilson happened to post a touchdown to interception ratio of three to three when at the beginning of the season he was opening up seven to zero
so why is it a pattern consistently every year when we all believe that Russell Wilson is this great MVP talent and then towards the end of the season we consistently start to see a drop off and a major decline in pretty much all the statistical categories that we have him leading in to start off the season even in Russell Wilson's highest yardage season being his 2016 season you can see this inconsistency of how he starts the year versus how he finishes the year obviously this year going a little bit different in his first three games having a touchdown to interception ratio of two to one even being shut out from touchdowns in one game and then ending off the season his final three games of having a touchdown to interception of eight to one you can just see that there's consistently in one half of the year that Russell Wilson just seems to steadily improve or steadily decline which greatly hurts his chances of winning MVP when you compare him to dudes like Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson in the last few years who have been consistently able to produce the same numbers the whole year versus having massive gains and then massive slumps and that is why I think a lot of analysts b believe a lot of years that Russell Wilson is the top MVP candidate. And then when they really crunch the numbers and you really look at it, you start to notice that there are a, quite a few other quarterbacks that I would say are a little bit better and that could be obviously should be getting the votes over Wilson, seeing as how Wilson doesn't have any votes at all. But I would deem a lot of this as not actually Wilson's fault. I mean, his only other Pro Bowl teammate as of now is on the defensive side of the ball in linebacker Bobby Wagner. So it's not like he has always had this top threat and this top receiving team that he has this year, such as DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett compared to previous years. Do I obviously think that Russell Wilson should have an MVP by now, or at least have one MVP vote? Absolutely. He's a baller. He's obviously one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL for a reason. But what I think is we have to stop continuing this media circle that we do every single year, which starts out with, oh, Russell Wilson is the best quarterback in football, to his name just kind of fading and disappearing as the playoffs come around. And I mean, in 2015 and 16, it's not even like the Seahawks have been bad because they actually contended for Super Bowls over those years. But it's really just been, I don't want to say it's a consistency issue because Wilson has been consistently good. I think it's inconsistency actually on the media's part and pushing this narrative that Russell Wilson is always the MVP and always the top quarterback and always the top everything when his numbers prove otherwise a little bit in his inconsistencies and can struggle at times and it overall has cost him MVP in clearly more than one season and is likely going to be what causes it this year with obviously Patrick Mahomes over the entire season having a touchdown interception ratio as of when this video is recorded of 22 to 1. From my honest opinion, there's really only one quarterback that I would take over Russell Wilson as of right now, that being Patrick Mahomes. But the important thing to remember is Patrick Mahomes does have the better offensive team around him. So when it really comes to it, who truly is the better quarterback? And even when we've came to a conclusion over who's the better quarterback, is it even really a negative thing that Russell Wilson hasn't won an MVP? Because, I mean, Tom Brady, who I believe many people consider to be the GOAT, he didn't win MVP every year. He wasn't the best quarterback every year. So when Russell Wilson wins all these accolades like this season, most wins or fastest to get 100 wins as a quarterback, it's not... The media just tries, I don't want to say to cover up for Wilson and him not having an MVP, but I feel like it's not talked about more, the inconsistencies constantly, and is he an MVP? Is he a top three quarterback? Oh, he's the best quarterback in the league. But that's just my two cents on the opinion. And if you agree, let me know what you think in the comments. 
Tell me why you think Russ consistently has sort of seemed inconsistent when it comes to the MVP race. Not his stats in general, but just the media constantly deciding whether he's an MVP or not. And it's been your boy, Horsey. We ought to. Surveys fires and it is going to be caught by DK Metcalf for a touchdown.